Hello everybody, we are back with this awesome fine scale modeling. In the last episode, we've seen how I built this powerhouse. Now I'm trying to compose all this nice scene here in this new scale that we are starting with, O scale. This is kind of new for us. We don't have so much of the elements to create these scenes and to create all these nice pictures. To compose all this scene that we are seeing here, I have to start from zero and build, the, of course, the house and the streets. Even, even the, the train car should look weather and should look used. But today it's about cars. I want to have cars that are in the same page with all of these elements that I just mentioned. So I want to have really used cars and cars that have been around for a while and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Let's go. I'm getting this really nice 67 uh, Dodge track and I will change it into this electrician span this is the best part you know when i was a kid i used to disassemble these kind of toy cars but back then i never assembled them again so i just destroyed them now what i have to do is to remove the glasses this is harder than it looks what are you doing man i'm working in my next episode it's about weathering and making lights in the cars. You're doing lights on the cars? Yes. No? But that's, that's it's my thing. No, man. This is pretty awesome. It will be like just headlights. I have to do the, the tail lights also. Okay, if, if you do one, I, I will also do another one. What, the, uh, what are you doing, man? I, I, this, this is mine. You cannot actually do that. This will, it, it will look awesome. You already, uh, oh, you already destroyed. It will have brake lights also uh, like a, a gun rack I gun rack so, so you think you can finish that before I finish this one that's what you're saying yes and it's going to be better awesome like crazy lights like completely finished yes no way there's no way I'm also taking this one in case I want to do something crazier there's no way he will do it in time now I have to do this under pressure he doesn't even know how to start with this I'm sure nice now I'm ready to take the paint off. I think the most logical thing will be to remove the whole paint but I wanted to do something quick just remove like the lettering at that point I decided to keep this whitish color that the model already had once I remove all this lettering from the ambulance I started creating some dents I didn't want to have it like destroyed but still it would be nice to have like some dents in the hood and like in the door panel, of course in the roof. That was kind of tricky because normally I would go to a vice and do it like really comfortable, but I wanted to work there in the same space where I was filming, so it was kind of hard and the vehicle keep like flying over to the sides. After that, I started to work with the first layer of rust, mainly on the dents that I just created. I wanted to make a really nice rusted layer that is underneath the paint. And most of this rust that I did in this stage, you didn't see. It's just under, underneath the paint to create some shades. Maybe when later when I painted the vehicle in this light blue and I again remove the paint, you will see this rust. After I finished my first layer of rust, I used this hairspray technique. It's my favorite technique to create this rust effect and this kind of chipping in the carpet. So I apply like two coats of hairspray and then I apply the light blue color. This is the tricky part because you have to apply water to loosen the, the hairspray 
and to remo remove the blue paint and create this chipping effect. At the first I applied like way too much. It was kind of hard to control, but still, it was really, really fun to work with. When I had the truck uh, in the right shape that I wanted regarding the paint, I started with the roof rack. And the roof rack, I have this kind of idea of what I wanted. At the beginning, I cut bars of plastic to glue them together. I decided that it was too thick. It wouldn't look nice. So I decided to go in a different method. At the end, I go with just carving a piece of plastic of 0.5 uh, to create the sides of the rack and then go from that. Once I had finished my roof rack and I see how awesome it looked, this is the point when the whole project went off the rails because now I wanted to go more into detail, more to create things that are more prototypical. I wanted to have a leather in this roof rack that also looks like something electricians would use. So at the beginning I thought, okay, I will just use an old ladder from a fire truck or something I have laying around. But for some reason I decided that was not good enough for this model. And I decided to create my own, which was really a stupid idea that took me most of the day to finish. And I had to create my own profiles that goes in the side of the leather by hammering this uh, really thin sheet of brass and this is a telescopic leather so it should really like look like something that actually works And it was a nightmare because, yeah, it was a lot of work. The only thing I'm, I'm not happy with is that it doesn't really work, like it doesn't really extend, but it's okay. I will have to live with that.
notice that my roof rack was kind of out of square a little bit just a little bit and I couldn't live with that I needed to fix that I try I just apply a little bit of pressure in the sides and it's kind of exploded in my hands I was destroyed man really I had to fix it I turned the camera off and I fixed it nobody will notice If you look close into the front lights, you will see that one of them is a little bit dimmer than the other one. And I think this is pretty funny since it's an uh, electrician's fan that is not working properly. So I put different resistors into the LEDs. It was pretty easy to do with what the car originally brings. Just a, a couple holes. Uh, <laughs> sometimes a bit gets like stuck into the metal, but it doesn't matter. Don't pay attention to it. What it should be like a one day project started to be like a really elaborate miniature. Uh, at that point I also wanted to have a figure there because why not? I didn't have a seated figure so I had to build one. I had to cut his legs and adapt him to in the shape of the, of the seat. At the end it looks horrible so I had to apply a little bit of putty to fill these gaps. some details inside the cap also. I didn't want to do too much uh, at this point, so I just put some newspaper. time you start one of these is really exciting because you know more than the previous year and you can apply like different techniques and stuff there's a lot of details into it i love the coloring i really put a lot of effort into creating this rust something i really like about this is personalization you know the stickers that are like glued into the windows from the inside this one's from the everglades so maybe this guy sometime went there with his truck to visit this park. I love New York stickers. And there is one here that says shit happens. Forrest Gump is one of my favorite movies. And this is really like an important Easter egg from this model. Something I really like is the trash in the dashboard. So this guy is really filthy and he just lay his trash laying around there. It's like me. I had actually a similar truck and it was really dirty and rusted, really rusted. This is always great uh, to add something more to our really nice miniature world. I would love to add more vehicles later. I would like to add more buildings later. And if you make it this far and you like it this video, don't forget to click like, follow us. We're also on Instagram and Facebook. You can follow us there. Thanks for watching. Hasta la próxima. What about Jorge? Oh shit, I, f I completely forgot about this. I knew. <laughs> so do you want to go and see? Yeah, no? let's, let's do it, man. I, actually, I, I'm really excited to see how his vehicle turned out. Let's, let's go, let's do it. Okay.
think it's right here. I finished my project. What? What with the with the car? Yes, you have your truck. I want to see it. Are you sure you have time right now to see it? Because I have to do some things that maybe I don't. I want. have all the time in the world. I just finished mine. Go, go, go! This where? This over there on the table. I think on the on the other side. Here? Yeah. You just 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 keep looking. Man, there's there's only a shelf here. He did nothing. Where is he? He ran away, man. Okay. Okay. Shit. Just run away. To be completely honest about it, I was pretty fast with it, my my car and I have a pretty good idea what I'm doing, you know? You know, like, lately he's been too busy and I'm sure he has like a lot of projects in his hands right now. I'm sure he'll, he'll finish it for, for next week, for sure. Okay.